So some of you had computer science in your plus one and plus two and many of you are willing to join BTEC in computer science in your graduation. But is it really necessary to have computer science in your plus one and plus two so that you can do much better in your graduation? I'm going to tell you all this in this video. Coming up. All right, let's get into the video. So the first thing first that some of you might have opted for computer science and some of you might not have opted computer science. And the biggest question is that if you have not opted for computer science in plus one and plus two, can you opt for BTEC in computer science in your graduation? So in this case, what I'll do, I'll look at the syllabus of CBSE for plus one and plus two for computer science subject. And then I'll give you a true guidance that whether it is going to be really helpful for you or that even if you don't know, can you of engineering in your graduation. Okay, so for that, let me start. I have the syllabus. Okay, so talking about the syllabus for the plus one, uh, it is being divided into four sections. The first one is computer fundamentals, where they talk about operating systems, compiler, interpreter, assembly, uh, open source softwares, application software, which is a very, very important part. So the second section comes is the programming methodology which actually covers the, I should say, the general concept of syntax error, runtime errors, logical errors, user proper names for identifiers, concepts, identif ident intendations. Then section three covers the introduction to C++, which is about getting into programming. And the section four is more about the practical skills of the C++. Now you see, in just these four sections, you'll come to know that from, that from the very beginning of plus one, these uh, units and the subject gives you a very good understanding of not just programming of C and C, of C++, they don't teach C, and this is what the syllabus says. So it will give you an understanding of the entire ecosystem on how to program. Okay, so I believe this is a very good subject to have in your plus one. Moving on to the syllabus of what this says for plus two is that they again have object oriented programming that is C++, which is a very important part of engineering. Uh, the second unit that they have is data structures. Now I've made a video on many engineering, computer science engineering roadmap to computer science, uh, then the five subjects of computer science that everyone must know. So if you are a computer science engineer watching this video by any chance, you'll know that data structure is a very, very important subject of computer science engineering and if you have opted for computer science in your plus two you study this subject now you may not be studying in depth but at least you have an understanding on what this topic covers and the um, you can say you build up the uh, the knowledge for that subject so this unit is again one of the best one now the third unit that they have in plus two that is database man management system and sql now this is once again the core subject of computer science engineering that they teach you in plus one uh, because if you maybe if you go to your third semester of engineering or maybe second semester in some cases they're going to teach you dbms and sql so if you have already have the knowledge for this subject in your graduation it will really help you in your i mean if you have studied this in your plus two it will really help you in your graduation then comes the boonier algebra and the communication technologies which are again a very important subjects now if you will see that all these units that they have in their plus one and plus two in the computer science are a very important part of your computer science graduation. Now if you have taken computer science here all well to go to opt for computer science engineering in your graduation. But the real question is what happened to the guys who have not opted for computer science? They might face some problem. No, this is, this is something we really get wrong. I want you to clear from this video that if you do not have computer science in your plus one and plus two, you're all good to go. Because when you move into engineering, the first year they don't teach you much of computer science. It will be a collaboration of mathematics, uh, electronical engineering, chemistry, physics, English, and maybe uh, some economics or management subjects. So first year, you're not going to go much deep into computer science. You have that one year so that you can actually grasp the programming skills and all. Also, the engineering is not that tough. The computer science engineering 
it's not at all that tough although it should be tough i believe it should be a lot more practical oriented but the sad part is the in india the engineering is very very easy now this may be contradictory to some of the guys watching the video but that is the true fact let me tell you from my own scenario that i didn't have computer science in my high school i had physical education and volleyball as my sports so i have done my graduation in computer science engineering uh, i've done really well i've been uh, i've participated in many microsoft contests and now i'm a certified microsoft solution architect technologies so it does not matter if you do not have computer science in your plus 1 and plus 2 if you have that's an extra cheese on pizza okay you're going to face no problem in computer science but if you do not have computer science in your plus 1 and plus 2 still you are very good to go just make sure that you might feel that when teacher is coming to the class and teaching c and c++ your fellow students will be able to answer it but that's totally fine you also have to get started one day and believe me it is not at all tough in most of the cases if you also go to the final year engineering student and ask for uh, hey do you know c and c++ well he or she would answer that they do not know okay because uh, to be very frank we don't learn it well okay we do not learn with a full commitment but if you go to any of the interviews they're going to ask you from this c and c++ queries so it's totally fine that if you do not have computer science in a plus one plus two stay strong be passionate about what you are learning if you have opted go for it there's uh, as i always say there's no wrong option the best option is the option that you have opted so even if you don't have computer science you want to go for computer science engineering in your graduation go ahead okay work hard and uh, get success and uh, don't just stick to the college placement to add here that college is responsible to give you the education if they guarantee placements that's totally fine that that's something that they're doing good for you but even if they're not giving you the placements it is your job to get the job outside because you have spent your four years of graduation and that's a very very long okay so you it's your life four years okay uh, give yourself a commitment work hard attend different workshops and seminars take some online courses watch uh, youtube channels like me i make many videos regarding computer science engineering on my platform like four steps to machine learning road map of computer science uh, engineering 2019 four steps to learn iot python versus javascript so uh, do consider uh, subscribing my channel and thank you so much for making uh, till here and the end of the video uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel that's all from my side in this video my name is stephen simon if you have any query drop down in the comment section and uh, i promise i'm going to reply as soon as possible thank you so much see you in the next video